And alrighty, here coming the four to go. Brad Keselowski leading the day. Tone of 500 here. You got Chris Chris Bush right there, right behind him. You got Kyle Bush running up there in third place right now. Man, with four to go, you're gonna have to have that big run. Of, uh, I mean, a big run at all to be able to really get up here and try to win the Daytona 500. There goes Kyle Busch and Austin Dillon to the outside lane. Kyle Busch to the lead nearly with two to go on the 500 and then his 19th try. Busch to the lead in that 3G Chevrolet. You got Austin Dillon there in second place. Kyle Busch the favorite. One of the favorites to win this Daytona 500. You got Byron left uh, Busher and Kozlowski out to dry. Here we come. Three to go now in the Daytona 500. Who's going to win it now? The 65th running. Byron with the run. Byron trying to get the run. Logano with the run with former teammate Brad Kozlowski and Busher there to the inside. This is where business picks up. This is where it's all in the marbles to win this Daytona 500. Kyle Busch said earlier today on a broadcast that he talked to Tom Rinaldi and he said, it's not if I get the Daytona 500, it's when I get the Daytona 500. And today could be the day in his 19th try to win. It made his first start here in 2005 for Hendrick Motorsports in a Chevy and his first race back in a Chevy since November. To oh, around goes Suarez. One car. Suarez goes around. Caution waves. We'll go to overtime here in the Daytona 500. I know I saw a wreck happening um, here soon, and I don't know where it was going to be at the front or back. Happens in the back, single car wreck, six caution the day. Still hasn't seen that big wreck yet today. This could be the first Daytona 500 that doesn't have a big one um, since 2016. So, yeah, there's Suarez there and his. Golly, what is it? His fifth try to win the Daytona 500, I believe. First start 2017 here. And missed it three years ago when he was driving the Gaunt Brothers number 66 or 96. There's saw the Richard Childers and his two drivers about to get 1-2. Or they could get 1-2. I think the last time they went 1-2 was uh, the last time I can remember. Texas in July of 2020 when Austin Dillon won over Tyler Reddick, who was a rookie at the time. And I want to say this is going to be a quick caution. Of course, this will be a day 25 in a row of time. Second day 25 in a row. That goes into overtime in the th third one. This decade that goes into the Daytona 500 overtime. So 2020 we had overtime, the longest Daytona 500 ever, where we saw a spectacular crash. Ryan Newman gets turned, flips upside down. 2021, and Denny Hamlin won the win that race. 2021, we had a six-hour rain delay. Michael McDowell wins on the crazy final lap crash with teammates former teammates now, Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano wreck. McDowell gets the win. Last year, Austin Sendrick gets it done in overtime finish in his first Daytona 500. Sendrick saw a good shot. He's up there running in ninth place there. Johnson's running in 12th. You got rookie Noah Gregson there. Here we go. We're going to go back to 1998 where Dale Hart won it in his 20th try. So, yeah, I mean... And driving the number three, that was 25 years ago on Wednesday. Um, that that was a very special day for NASCAR, of course. And got two Rich Childers cars out there running one two right now. People are probably, there's probably some people you can see there the tire rub on the eight of Kyle Busch. Some people are probably doubting Kyle Busch going this year. New team. A bit. Some people are calling it a downgrade. Guess what? Here we go. In his first two races. By the way, most starts um, for guys here to. Oh, uh, this is an eight. This is his 18th start in the day. Ton of 500. My bad there. But Dale and I had the most before his first win. Buddy Baker at 18. Daryl Walsh up 17. Kurt Busch 16. And Bobby Allison, David Pearson, and Michael Waltrip had 15 tries before they won their first Daytona 500. I would be happy for Kyle Busch, you know. He got Byron up there looking for his first Daytona 500 and his fifth career win. He got his first career win here um, back in August 2020. He got Austin Dillon, who got a second career win here five years ago in 2018. Logano won this race eight years ago in 2015. Larson, who nearly won it six years ago. 
Busher, who never really had a good shot at winning the 500. Stenhouse, who had a really good, who won the July race here back in 2017. Cindric last year's winner. And Johnson, who won his most recent Daytona 500. Um, his second 10 years ago. Um, I believe that race was February 24th, so that'll be 10 years ago Friday, if I am not mistaken here. Yeah, and I mean, I think we're coming around here to maybe get the choose cone here. You got green. Well, those green lights on there mean, um, ah, uh, that pit road's open. Now, you can hear my voice. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Right now, I wonder who's going to get the run and who's going to get the move. We saw that move to the outside lane with Kyle Busch and Austin Dillon, and it worked for them. They took the lead, and it's now a Chevy 1, 2, 3. The Fords have been the fast car in speed weeks. Ford and Chevys have. Kyle Busch had a car that could have won the dual race on Thursday, got turned by Daniel Suarez up to the pack, and here he is. And here's your overtime rules. Haven't had one. Um, in a while here, so two laps shootout. If the leader takes the white flag, next flag ends the race. Caution to the prior of the white flag um, means a guaranteed restart. So I guess the evolution of NASCAR over time, there, when it first started, there was only three attempts, and after three attempts, the caution came out. Then with Austin Dillon's big flip here back in July of 2015, they uh, had, we came back to Talladega, and we had one overtime attempt. That, of course, caused great controversy when Dale Earnhardt Jr. lost to Joey Logano. And then 2018 to 2017, we had the overtime line, which they removed that midway through the 2017 season. And ever since then, we have your current overtime rules, which I like your current overtime rules. You know what? NASCAR tries to get these fans a clean finish here. Oh, Boston Hill's going to the inside lane. I mean, teammates don't like to work each with each other late in the race. If they do, they're probably going to peek out here. This is going to be two laps here, five miles here in the Daytona 500 finish here. Currently, six and a half miles left right now. Three to go in the overtime here out of regulation with Daniel Suarez spinning out with, five, with about four to go. And um, I got to say, if anyone has the best shot to win the State Tone of 500, it's Kyle Busch, in my opinion. He's going to have the best shot out of any driver up in this top 10 to win the State Tone of 500. Logano has a fast car. I'm nearly 10 years since he's won his first State Tone of 500. Who will win it? Kyle Busch in his 18th try. I keep on repeating myself, Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch, but he's tried so many times. The last time I truly remember him having a shot winning the Tona 500 2016. Led the most laps here in 2009-2008. Uh, but I think in 2008 he got left out to dry. And then 20, 2009 he got caught up in a big wreck. There's the fans. Not a single one sitting down here. Yep. A lot of these guys, they're probably nervous. I see... Is that an Eminem shirt down there? I see. I mean, a lot of Kyle Busch fans, I'm pretty sure, in this grandstands here. Well, sun has gone down. Moon's come up. And these guys are about to get let loose here for the final three mile, final five miles here of the Daytona 500. Fans are on their feet here. Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, William Byron, Joey Logano, the top four. In this race, you got Kozlowski in fifth. Here we come. The Corvette pace car ducks off. We're going to come to overtime here. Green flag back in the air. Kyle Busch gets the jump with two to go. This is what Kyle Busch needs right here. Went down there the block. Here comes his teammate with the big push. You got Stenhouse and Logano on the outside lane. Bell gets a big shot from Larson there. That top line, but the final lane got moving first here very quickly. Stenhouse getting a big run to Joey Logano right there. They're coming to the back straightaway. Logano trying to go to the lead here and trying to win his second day. Ton of 500. Whoa, the final lane gets shut out here. Oh, Kyle is going to lose the lead here. Here comes Stenhouse and Larson to the inside. Bell to the inside. And around goes Dylan. Austin Dylan racks. Big one in turn three. It's the huge one. Big crash. The big one. Oh, boy. Austin Dillon's luck just ran out. 
Oh man, the nerves now. On board Noah Gregson, his shot to win his first cup race in Daytona 500. Well, uh, be a oh man, there's Kalvish's crew chief right there, and he's not happy. There's Byron, there's Byron right there, got jacked up there. No, Jimmy Johnson will not win his third Daytona 500. And we don't know if he's coming back here next year. This could be his second final Daytona 500. Of course, 2020 was his original final Daytona 500. And I really expected something like that to happen there. And let's see here. Um, looks like Byron got a shot to Austin Dillon there. Bell went to the inside, made contact with Denny Hamlin. Came down and to William Byron. Got around. Oh, Austin Cindric will not go two in a row in the Daytona 500, more than likely. Herps around there. Okay, the wreck wasn't as big as I thought. I was exaggerating. But that's about 12 cars involved in, the, in this wreck. The biggest one of the day. Guess what? We have a big one here. So keeping that big one streak alive here. On board Harrison Burton. Ooh, man. Uh, Could have got Wood Brothers a 100th win. They've been looking for that 100th win for six years now. And that will continue here. And it sounds like they're all sad. Like my voice was shivering there. It, my voice is like that because I'm nervous. My adrenaline, my heart rate right now is <laughs> up to the roof right now, man. On board Noah Gregson. Oh, man. Uh, that means all three Petty or Legacy Motor Club cars are involved here. On board Ross Chastain. And I don't think um, this racing is going to calm down at all. It's usually calm with the f with the first, you know, like three fourths of the race, and then the final quarter of the race, it gets wild here, and it comes undone. On board Austin Cindric, and all those people saying that, hey, we're going to have the same exact winners here as we did last weekend. Nope, that ain't going to be the case. I don't think. I, I mean, I want to totally count him out, but uh, I think that smoke coming out of him and too. I mean, he's still probably going to be in this race, but he's probably just knocked out of contention. There we go. I mean, Austin Dillon, I mean, you can't, you can't really blame Austin Dillon or really anyone here. Because it's the Daytona 500. It's the biggest race of the year. I mean, Kyle Busch is probably mad because the, the Kyle Busch's only good help is his teammate, Austin Dillon. He's out of the thing now. So there's Stenhouse. He's a past winner here. Last time we won a cup race. A points race. Well, a cup race of any kind was here in July of 2017. You know, Saturday here at Daytona, man. I mean, he could have... Actually, I remember in July 2018, he had a good shot at winning that race, too. Last year, he had another good shot. Larson there. Bell. In his fourth Daytona 500, there's Jimmy Johnson in his 20th Daytona 500. Not going to win it today. There's Logano, he's still in this race. Uh, Bush doesn't look like he has too much significant damage. I don't think he really sustained any damage from that wreck. Almendinger here. And by the way, I was like competing in the Daytona 500 in five years. Uh, here's another good look at it here. I, I, I want to see if Bush got any damage here. No, he did not. No, he, it couldn't have been possible because the wreck started right behind him. Yeah, ah, golly. Austin Owen probably looked good there because he won last time we were here back in August in that in that race there. And the story of that was with like 21 to go in that race, rain struck the track in the huge and probably the largest track ever that I've seen in my years of watching and doing NASCAR. That's probably the biggest Daytona wreck I've ever seen in my life. And Austin Dillon scooted away. We had like a two-hour rain delay. He came out and won the thing. So, Cindric will not go for a second straight Daytona 500 a day. Like I said, Noah Gregson right here. Oh, man, this fight. Oh, man. Ooh. I mean, not too bad of an impact there, but he's going to be all right. And a lot of these guys are saying...
Can't wait. Just get to California already. So that's going to be next Sunday. The Apollo Casino 400 here on Fox. Celebrating 75 years. The 65th running of the day. It's on a 500 here. On board Austin Cindric. Man, I, I do not like watching these inside hits because you never know what the safety issues we had last year. I mean, all those concussions that we had, a lot of these guys were concussed. Um, it sucks. Mm. So I assume we have a few more, a couple more caution laps here, maybe. Then we'll get back going here. There's Fashana right there, the X Games champion. By the way, from a guy who's driven the 67, I'm secretly looting for Travis Fashana in this race. He led a lap early. I don't think that 67 led a race or won a race. The only guy to win a 67 car? There's a guy talking. There's a guy talking, right? Me, right here. I won it last season at Mid Ohio. This is the biggest wreck of the race. That is. Total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cars. I was close. I said when the strike first happened, when we took a replay of it, I said 12, 13, no involved. A lot of good heavy hitters here. Austin Sindrick, Ross Chastain, Brad Kozlowski, Hamlin had a good car today. Byron had a good shot. So did Harrison Burton. Here's a word from Denny Hamlin. So here I am, Infinite Go, here in our commercial break. And, yes, this will be kind of a weekly series that I'm going to do. Try to commentate these races live. Con try to commentate after them because, as you guys saw in my uh, New Year's vlog, I was, I'm going to the Bristol Dirt Race. So that's a race I cannot commentate um, live unless I wanted to absolutely um, scream my head off. So, yeah, USFL returns in April. Watch that. Okay, here we go. And we welcome back everyone live to the 65th running of the Daytona 500's NASCAR 75th season here today. Um, the beginning here. Two weeks ago, we had a crash fest. Today, it's been a bit calmer. Shockingly, I know. Oh, I remember last year was quite opposite of that. We had more wrecks last year in the 500 than we did the clash. It swaps. So it's going to swap again next year. Who knows? There's Stenhouse leading. Um, there's, oh man, Gene McMurray and Chris Myers, two, um, two doo doo the dole heads. I don't know. I don't hate them, but they're uh, trying to sue my thunder here. But uh, McMurray's probably talking about winning the State Tone of 500. He won it 13 years ago. Chris Myers has been on Fox since 2001. I mean, he's been around. I I, I don't know. <laughs> um, there's Brad Kozlowski in the next lit car. Christopher Busher. There's Horas, who, by the way, spun out with four to go. Oh, you can see there that crew man's getting some acrobats in. But most of those pit crew guys are former football players. Either college, NFL... Oh, this is a fun fact for all you music lovers. Country music star Chase Rice used to be a tire changer in NASCAR for Hendrick Motorsports. And I'll be honest with you, who would take up a singing career um, to leave NASCAR? I mean, I would rather take up a music career to work in NASCAR. There's Michael Kelly, the crew chief on Ricky Stenhouse Jr. There's Josh Sims. Sims talking to Kyle Busch's crew chief. Um, Randall Burdett. Burdett's been around. We well, see that gray hair there. <laughs> and he's trying to win a Daytona 500 for his drivers running in six. New crew chief for him. Last few years it's been Rudy Fugel. Not Rudy Fugel. Ben Bayshore. Rudy Fugel's the crew chief on William Byron. Um, Oh, there's a guy stealing my thunder. Okay, I have I had enough of this. I had enough of this. The guy's trying to steal my thunder today. Um, yeah, I had enough of this trying to steal my thunder here. We're going to go to my makeshift booth here. All right, here we go. So, obviously, I got to watch myself here. I got to kind of duck down. I'm ducking down here. This is uncomfortable for a fat guy. Um, we got two to go in the Daytona 500. 
We got overtime here. Who knows? Who's going to win the Daytona 500? I got my bets on Kyle Busch and then I'm in a car. He is going to win the Daytona 500. He is going to get this thing done. And his 18 try. And I'm going to try to recreate Michael or Mike Joy's. Well, his real name is Michael. Though. Mike Joy's 1998 call when Dale Sr. won his first Daytona 500 and the first Daytona 500 for RCR. This year, they're looking for their fourth. So... I mean, it, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be out of whack here. And, um, yeah, it's going to be crazy here. So there we go. There's Boyer. And, by the way, before we go back in there, i got to show you something cool here. I had to take on my headset. For that um by the way i think we're two to go oh there's cindric there but here's a dale cool dale jr dale and our junior pod, uh, pod, podcast he does have a cool podcast but diecast um yeah it's pretty cool there here's your race recap we're gonna take a look at that early on in the day bubble wallace got hit into the wall by martin trex jr kyle bush had a speeding penalty lap 108 um, in that 3G car. Multiple lap wreck on lap 118 when Harvick got a shove to the 45 of Reddick. Wrecked my pick. Um, Willie or Ryan Blaney. Reddick in the wall there. Going down in front of those cars. Eric Jones and probably the coolest, most cool NASCAR sponsor. Guns N' Roses. Lap 182 multi-car wreck with Ryan Priest. 2021 winner Michael McDowell. 2007 winner Kevin Harvick. And more. And then with... Three to go, four to go. Suarez got around, blew a tire. And that caused overtime and which led to this big incident here with Austin Dillon and the biggest wreck of the day. The big one happens with two to go in the Daytona 500. With Austin Dillon getting spun around, collecting last year's winner and a whole bunch of more guys. Including a rookie there, Ray Herps, and his first day Tona 500, Zane Smith, Noah Gregson, sophomore driver, Harrison Burn involved in there as well. 21 different leaders in this race, 52 lead changes, cars on lead lap right now are 23, cautions are 7. I won't doubt that went up to like 8 or 9 here, but yeah, it, this is where it gets crazy here. My prediction is we're going to have a wild crash on the final lap like we had last night when Sam Mayer got turned, got a bad block by his teammate Justin Allgaier, but you can't blame Allgaier trying to go for the one day ton of 500. Here they go, and and then Mayer got turned, flipped on his roof. Um, you can see there, um, Stenhouse went to the outside, I believe. Um, Larson went to the outside. Logano and Bell line up behind each other. Bush. Line behind Logano, who two weeks ago called Logano two-faced. They said, good luck in the booth. Went out. Logano wrecked Bush. I mean, what a wild few months it's been for Kyle Bush. Got arrested in Mexico. We're going to leave that to there. And then had a good run in the clash. Gets third. And this year... Has his greatest shot to win the Daytona 500 in seven years. So, free NASCAR race of advert. Or Saturday 6 p.m. on FS1. I can't wait to watch Radioactive Tuesday. Probably going to be a lot of expletives. Probably going to be a lot of happy, mad people. What's up for the Ghana? He's going back here. I, I can't hear the broadcast. I don't know what's going on. And then he's trying to save fuel. He, he's not ready yet. There's Hamlin there trying to go for his fourth Daytona 5 on that time for second most all time with Cale Yarbrough. Who originally was going to be his Graham Marshall today, but he couldn't be here as well as Matt Kenseth and Daryl Waltrip. When we waited the green flag today, I did not say boogity, boogity, boogity. Um, I think I just retired that in the um, for the sake of Daryl Waltrip. This is Larson's best shot he's had to win Daytona 500 ever in his career. Well, second most. Um, he says he hates this track. He says he hates his type of racing. He wins the thing. He, that could change his mind. Oh, by the way, guess what? This is the new longest Daytona 500 ever. And it was in 2020, not 2022. 2022 had 202 laps. 
That year was the Daytona 500 522. Daytona 522.5. But meanwhile, that doesn't matter here. We're back underway. Two to go. Stenhouse getting a push from Logano. Fell down with Larson. It's on with two to go. In the last year, we saw first time Daytona 500. First time cup winner. Got Kyle Busch on the outside lane. Kyle Busch is very comfortable with the outside lane. He got Bubble Walls right there. Tandem drafting here. Bell pushing Larson. Two former rivals. You got Bowman pushing the eight car. The 48 won his thing 10 years ago with Johnson. Here they come. Around and turn three and four. Came all done. Last time we went around here, we're all clean now. Larson to the inside now. Larson getting the run. Stenhouse to block him now. Big lead for Stenhouse. That probably ain't the best thing ever. Big push. Big push by Bubba here. Logano with the big run on the outside. White flag is on Daytona. Three wide. It's Logano leading this thing. Stenhouse now out front. They nearly wrecked. They save it. Oh, Rogers Larson. There they go. Kozlowski around. Big crash in the final lap. Joey Logano out front. It's close. Stenhouse out front now. Who won it? Stenhouse. I believe was out front at the moment of caution. Was it Stenhouse? Was it Stenhouse? Will Logano get his second? Will Stenhouse get his first? Will Bell get his first? Caution, and the checkers will wave. It's official. And it's official. It came back. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has won the Daytona 500. Second win for JTD Darty Racing. Stenhouse gets a job done. Wow. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. right there getting his third career win. Breaks a six-year winless streak. Oh, my Lord. My, my, my. It's third year in a row that a driver gets their first Daytona 500 win. Mm, Larson hit hard, too. Wow. Well, I'm speechless. Here it is. Uh, Larson came down. Oh, contact with Pastrana there. Mm -mm, he hit hard. Bush went around there. He hit hard as well. Man, oh, man. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets the job done. Oh, my Lord, man. I mean, there's nothing you can do here, obviously. There's Ricky Stenhouse, who has just won the 2023 Daytona 500. There he is. He's out of the car. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., the winner of the 65th Daytona 500. And he leaps into the arms of his crew. Wow. Chevy gets their first Daytona 500 win and since 2016. Or 2018. Let's go down trackside. There. I mean, okay, not yet. There's his crew chief right there. What a win for Stenhouse.